Hello, I'm going to show the new feature for notifications to new emails that have come in through the email integrations that is unread both as a dashboard card and also on the navigation bar similar to Jmails, a bubble with a number of unread messages. So here in my environment, I have some demo messages and for my unread emails card, I've clicked here and added unread emails. It's going to show me the date, who that's from, and the subject, as much of it that can fit in this area. If it says non-client, it's not from a client. That just means it may be spam, it's from a carrier. It's just someone in the system that's not on file, um, a carrier possibly, and and another ticket or other feature that you may have seen, you can go into any message and attach them to any client, then that will show here if you wanted to do that. We've added a refresh option here where you can click to say refresh main box, similar to our inbound text. You have filters here and you can change this if you wanted to see different message statuses. It defaults to all. You can see messages that have been read you can see messages that have been unread only. Or again, you can go back to showing all messages and that will show a mixture of read and unread messages. And you can put the number of days to show. The maximum is 30, so I can only go back 30 days. Most people will use one, maybe new messages for today. So here, I'm going to put 30. And if I, if I had it to where I had some messages that were read, they would not be bold. So unread messages are bold, read messages are not bold. So also notice while we're here that under the email option, I have a label that says four, and that's the total number of unread messages I have in my inbox. So even if I had this dashboard card set to one day, and it may only show one message for the day, my alert for how many total unread messages could say 30, however many I have total in my inbox all time. Notice on the card, the dates. Here, the one in my example that just have the time, 2.15 p.m., those are from today. So if it's a message that's from today, it'll only have the time, similar to Gmail. If it is a message that is older than today, it will have the date and time, similar to Gmail and other email programs. So either from here, I can click on a message and this will take me to the message to view it. And I can view the message here from clicking on it from the dashboard. It'll also show me the clients here. I can click here to go to the client profile and notice my total unread count went down to three. Now I can go back to the dashboard and here on the dashboard, I look and my top message is now not bold, meaning that it's red. And if I change that filter to only show red messages, it would only show the one that I have read. If I change that filter to only show unread messages, then it will only show unread messages. I'm gonna change this back to all. And again here for, let's just say for the sake of this video, if I had one that was non-client, if I click here, it's gonna mark it as red, so it won't be bold anymore on the dashboard. Once my message loads, my count will drop to two. I can use the option, this has been here for some time, to attach this client to a message, and I'm gonna attach it to a random client in my environment, I'll say, Julie Simon, attach client to message, to message. And then now, if I view this message again, that client will be here, Julie Simon. And a lot of times that can take place if you're emailing about a client back and forth, about a carrier, or, or I'm sorry, if you're emailing a carrier back and forth about a client, and the client's email is not on there, you may choose to go and attach that message to the client, because even though it's from a carrier and their their address is not on file on the client, you still may want that message to belong with the client. So then it is super helpful. All right, thank you.